He's purring. You purr. Okay. Hi, baby. Give mommy a kissy. Did you guys see that? He gives me kisses. <laughs> he literally, I don't, I like don't know how I trained him to do this, but he like, I guess maybe he sees me do it with my family members or whatever, but he gives me a kiss. He like leans into me and he'll close his eyes and he'll go, and he like expects me to give him a little kiss. It's very cute. Hello everyone. Hi. Owie audio. Is it bad? Is the audio bad? Is it too loud? Is it not loud enough? Let me know. He's rubbing against me. It's very cute. Can you guys hear me? How's your kitten today? He's he's good. Um, he's definitely gonna be playful in a sec. I can tell. You're gonna be playful. You're gonna be playful. Okay. <laughs> my cats do the same. Is my audio still bad? Is it good? Bad, good, bad, good. All right. I guess it's okay. You're rubbing it on the blanket? What? He's he's on the blankie. Say hi. Say hello. What do you want to tell the people? What do you want to tell them? See, look. Literally, he kisses me. How did I train my kitten to do that? <laughs> hello. Okay, the audio is good. Um, okay, I wanted to explain something really quickly on here and just kind of go into detail about this because I'm always terrified of getting canceled, even though everyone was like, for literally 99, actually everyone was kind of like, you go girl, but I kind of just wanted to explain what happened. Um, long story short, I posted the me attempting the WAP dance on TikTok and someone just like commented about like me having cake and I just thought it was funny and I did the little shy hands and then I turned around because my butt looked good in this costume on it was just like a response on TikTok and it went viral on like straight straight TikTok and I had all these men that were like girls I don't want to be treated like an object also girls and just like the craziest things and like I was like, okay. And then I also woke up to like probably a hundred comments asking me if I had an OnlyFans. So I was like, you know what? Like if these men are going to treat me like I'm an object, then like I am going to let them know I'm valuable. So not even for my audience, but for honestly that new audience I gained, I was like, okay, <laughs> I want to use that audience that I'm not exactly the biggest fan of and use it to create more music, whatever. So I made an OnlyFans. Yeah, uh, if you're wondering, no, I, I personally, not to discredit anyone that does this, but I don't feel comfortable posting myself naked. <laughs> it's more of just like in the realm of my last Instagram post, like just like a little sexy, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I honestly didn't make it with the intention of promoting it to like my actual audience. That's why I'm going live on this page because I feel like it's more of my like legit, legit audience. We don't support the straights. No, that's not true. It's it's these like very, very um, sexual men that all followed me and said like the craziest things like crazy obviously like you know i if you're a nice person i support you um but <laughs> anyways so i was like you know what i clearly they want that content and i'm gonna give it to them and i'm going to use that to my own advantage because if they're going to treat me like i'm an object i'm gonna let them know that i'm valuable and i'm not talking about regardless of their sexuality they were just like a very very um i don't want to use this word just like very sexual group of people and you know when i post something on the internet i can't control what people do with it but i wanted to take control of the situation and kind of feel like instead of having all these people i guess comment I, wa I wanted people, these people to realize that, you know, 
you you gotta pay to appreciate me. <laughs> no, um, more as in, you know, I'm valuable, um, and I'm not an object. But if you're gonna treat me like one, I am definitely a valuable object. Thank you very much. So that's kind of what I did, <laughs> and. Was it me trolling? No, because I would never want to discredit people that um, work on there and work there full time because that is absolutely, you know, against what I stand for. Um, and, you know, I think it is empowering to have females take control of their body. I think it's, you know, especially being not to bring this into it, but like being a survivor, um, you feel like I'm used to not having control over situations like that that are just sexual and it's kind of nice like having control over it i don't know if that's dumb but i don't know you know is this making sense i have so much respect for you thanks yeah i don't know i guess i feel like a lot of my own like sexuality without it being like sexuality like more than like sexual relationship with myself a lot of it has been just me not having control um and i like want to empower myself and use that platform to feel good about myself and feel like i deserve to be in control of how much i want to show people i don't want to show people and you know like I guess how much I want to sexualize myself versus having someone else take control over me with that. Is this making sense? Get that coin, boo. Um, I'm going to link it if you guys want for the gays and the, and the girls that are over <laughs> um, 18. But honestly, like, this was not made with like you need to do this and like I wasn't like I want to you know my my subscribers that support my coming out journey and my recovery journey like I wasn't like you know I like need this support from you at all um it was more of me taking control over the situation that I've had like the past few days where I was like okay like I have all I, had a, I grew 100,000 TikTok followers in a day, which sounds great, but it's a very new audience I'm not used to. And I'm like, okay, I want to have control over this situation, you know? I'm 21, but I was born with a thing where I look younger than I am. I do it for the girls and the gays, that's it. Honestly, why is it not letting me link it? Hold on. I want to link my stuff. Da, 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 da. Someone said they just don't want me to be hurt in the long run. Honestly, I totally agree. Like, for now, I'm just kind of doing it because I've gotten this rush of new followers that kind of are, like, begging for this content that I... And just, just commenting things I'm not used to. And I'm, like, I'm trying to almost redirect them to a different platform and take control of it, but also, like, empower myself. I mean... I did also think it would be cool to have a place where, you know, my 18 plus followers where we can just be more mature and um, just like have fun and love ourselves and our bodies. And like, I loved what I posted yesterday on Instagram and everyone was super nice, but um, it would be cool if I could have somewhere where I could like have that kind of like fun, sexy, flirty content just for the 18 plus audience, because obviously I do have followers that are minors and also like you know ariana grande for example like tons of artists where you know maybe not that intense mine was probably a bit more revealing but like wear kind of like you know those like unitard-esque outfits when they perform and stuff like that and you know with doja cat like i love her she's great you know she wears like it's especially with musicians it's super common for i guess people to see that type of clothing but i personally would just feel more comfortable having it on a different platform um and i do still like love to empower myself and like if you guys do want to be on that platform and just see me like feeling good in my body and like i guess like an 
older, more mature side of that type of body positivity, that's kind of what it's for, if that's making sense. So I also thought that was like a really good plus. Again, like, I don't know if this is forever. This is kind of just something I'm like doing for now. I'm in quarantine. So is this making sense? Remember, it's your life and your body and do what you want with it. Exactly. And for me, I don't feel comfortable posting myself nude. And there's nothing wrong with that if you enjoy that. But for me, I just like to take sexy pics in my free time. That shit. I'm 21 now, you know? So, yeah. Someone said, after not having control over our bodies for so long, the second we take control, people aren't okay with it. That's actually a really good point. Honestly, I think, like, props to people that are on websites like OnlyFans or, you know, anything like that. Because, if anything, like, that is someone, you know, taking control of their body and um, realizing that there's value in that and that your body is valuable and you deserve the right to control, you know whether or not you choose to sexualize it in certain ways and um I don't know I think it's I think it's badass and if you think about it like it is someone loving their body and feeling confident in themselves and like kind of taking care of themselves in the process instead of you know doing it just for someone else like they're making their coin off of it I'm like you fucking go <laughs> so we stand confident, Jesse. We do. But we, I'm like, we do. I promise I wasn't mad. But I don't want you to think that, like, my content on here is going to change, my content on Instagram, on YouTube. Like, I'm still the same person. And, like, ultimately, like, my personality, I am so baby, 100%. I definitely don't have some, like, secret scandalous side of myself. I really wish I did. That would be really cool. Literally, like, the only thing is kind of just, like, like my last main Instagram picture, I just like to take hot pictures of myself and I just want to have, I, I feel more comfortable posting that for an 18 plus audience. So does that make sense? Um, you came out as bi today. Yay. Congrats. Baby. I promise I'm still baby guys. I like literally go to sleep. Actually that's, I go to sleep at 2am, but it's not cause I'm like, going out and partying it's either because you keep me up kitty oh he bit me okay charlie <laughs> no, i'm not gonna imitate that he bit my finger <laughs> he bit my finger it's okay i'm still some when he's like when he wants attention he gives me bites and i can tell when he gets the attention he likes he stops he's smart it's smart you're smart you're smart you're smart you're smart you are. I feel like he's growing already. Anyone else that has a, a cat or had a kitten or raised a kitten or is raising a kitten, like, do you feel like you see your cat getting bigger by the week? Or am I just, like, paranoid that he's growing up? I'm just a protective mommy. He's being crazy right now. Why are you being crazy? Come on. Sometimes he gives me a kiss. Sometimes he's embarrassed. I don't know what he's doing right now. He's so cute and small. He <laughs> yes, you tell him. You tell him. Tell them off. Yes. <laughs> I can't imagine my 12-year-old self saying Jesse was going to get thick and be so confident in a different way. Honestly, me neither. I was actually, like, growing up the type of person that was not like this and like I feel like I'm almost like it's like comedic as to how confident I am in certain ways versus like how low my self-esteem used to be like it's it's so drastic it's like it's funny to me oh my god you're being cray cray you're being cray cray sorry he's biting my ass I'm like you he's never done that you can't bite he's no 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 you can't do that He's being bad right now. I I don't know. He's very playful. But, like, I, I he's never done that and he's not going to do it again. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me just take care of him and put him away from my butt. Okay. <laughs> Kittens grow super fast. 
My life's co- closer to complete when you notice me. Hi. He liked the cake. Oh, no. <laughs> he is my son. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, my God. He, like, the first day he got me, he, or I was with him, he did the, like, that thing, which he, they do to their moms to, like, stimulate milk production and he did it to my boob <laughs> which i also stopped quick i felt really uncomfortable but i was like he's low-key smart <laughs> he knows that i mean i'm not breastfeeding my cat that's absolutely disgusting but um i i just thought it was funny i definitely took it all fast i was like this is he definitely is learning what is appropriate <laughs> yeah but it's okay. He's learning not to, He's being crazy right now, though. I'm just like... He hasn't played all day, so... He's going crazy. <laughs> Please no one take that out of context. <laughs> You're gonna... I am gonna be on the OnlyFans. The link is right there. The only pause. What time is it? It's like 9. I had makeup on, and I went for a walk, and now my nose is all red. I'm like Rudolph. Started so only pause for Fender. <laughs> I can't. Well, I'd have to contact his agent. Um, I would be his photographer. I would take ten percent, but I would give him ninety percent, and that would go towards his. He already has so many toys. He definitely needs a toy right now. I'm like he's feeling that. When your I've learned when your kitten starts to um, which he was just chewing on, you redirect them to a toy. So. He lo- he fucking loves this squirrel. He loves this bitch. Come on. It's your bitch. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck. She has she has the squirrel. <laughs> he loves the squirrel. Look at this. Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ready? Watch this. Yeah! See, I feel like his nose grew a little bit. I feel like he has a little snout now. Yeah. Yeah. He also plays with the edge of my blanket. Sometimes I just got to give it to him, but that makes him not want to play with it because he likes the, the game. He likes the game more than the prize. <laughs> Come on, you want to squirrel. I'm, like, trying to focus on, like, having the camera right and <laughs> playing with him, and it's actually really difficult, so I apologize if I'm doing either of them very sloppily. Come on. Come on. Can't tell if he's lazy or if he's about to pounce. Oh! <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> Fender or muffins for president? Well, to be honest, I think Fender's too young. Um, I think Muffin's for president, and I think Fender would be a great VP um, once he's of age. Whoa, are you okay? Sweetie! He just, like, banged himself into that. I feel bad. All right, now he's... Sometimes he just sits under where I'm sitting. Sometimes he's just chilling there. Okay, ready? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Good boy. There, we have a good boy. Okay, let's see. Look at him. Sneaky. I've never seen him do this move. I can't believe I'm live streaming this. <laughs> this I don't even know how I got to this. I was like talking about, I don't even know, like respect for, I don't know. I love him. He's baby. He is. I'm telling you, he did not, his snout grew. Maybe that's me being an overprotective mom, but I think it's so cute. See, he's like a little heart-shaped snout. Am I obsessed with him? Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to give him the toy, but then he doesn't want to play anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're all enjoying this wholesome content. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Look at him. All right, go for it. See, he has a little heart shaped snout. It's so cute. See, wait, okay, wait. Fender, show them. Do you see it? I'm telling you. Come on, come on, cuckoo. Oh, I call him cuckoos. I think I told you this. When he's really hyper, I call him cuckoos. 
because he's a little cuckoo when he does it, but he, it's, it's like a phase he goes through, so he, you know, it's multiple cuckoos. <laughs> Look at his head going back and forth. <laughs> he definitely looks like he's about to pounce, or he wants me to bring it to him. I, sometimes it, it can go either way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Cuckoos. 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 I need to show you guys a picture of his mom. He looks exactly like his mom. It's so cute. Okay. Cuckoos. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. And then he, see, then he brings it back to me. My cat plays fetch. He malfunctions. He's done. Oh, no, he's not. See, I told you. He doesn't even like the prize. He likes the game. <laughs> I like... I know cats are supposed to play by themselves, though. And he, like, doesn't like to play if I'm not here. Which I'm trying to teach him. Um, but he's a puppy cat. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Fetch, Fender! Alright, Fender, you got this. This is really cute. Wait, I need to... He's probably gonna jump out when I... Say hi! Say hi! He, like, waits right here when I'm playing. Come on. I'm just kidding. I just kind of want to give it to him. <laughs> I just, that's what he does. So that's his other move. Is he just sits in my lap and looks cute. And I'm like, well, of course I'm going to give you the squirrel. <laughs> Wait until he starts barking. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I also got him a gay rights toy. Let me see if I can find the gay rights toy. <laughs> Where is the gay rights toy? Let's see. He probably like hid it under the bed. He does that a lot as well. Oh, there it is. <gasps> he definitely moved this. This is his gay rights toy. Fender, gay rights. See, and then he's summoned. Gay rights. Good boy. <laughs> gay rights. Gay rights, Fender. Fender. <laughs> Fender, say gay rights. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> he reminds me of like, I don't know, some wand twirler during a pride festival. Please hire him. Gay rights toy. Look, he loves the gay rights toy. <laughs> wow. He wraps himself in a pride flag like mommy. <laughs> <laughs> how'd you come up with the name for fender so he's named after the guitar brand like fender guitars um and i also thought it was a really cute name too just like fender but it also has its cool meaning meaning to it wow eh. and um my first guitar was a fender guitar so there you go and my first cat because i'm gonna end up with 10 <laughs> i don't know all right, someone said they're getting serotonin. Yay! So if, you, if you're if you new, um, right now he's screaming gay rights. Say it with me, gay rights. Gay rights. Good boy. Good boy, gay rights. <laughs> he's so proud of what he got. He wants to show me. Good boy, look. Good boy. <laughs> wow. He's a gay icon. Or no, we don't, we don't know his, you know, how he identifies. He's baby, but... <laughs> we just have the squirrel on the ground and we have the gate rights i'm not gonna lie my whole room is turned into cat central we have a scratch board we have his little bed it's super cute he likes to sleep in it it's blue and it looks like a little tent um oh he's gonna try to chew my added charge my phone no <laughs> you know what you're doing you know what you're doing don't you don't you you know what you're doing yeah you do. He likes it when I pet him when he's tired, but when he doesn't, he's like, yeah, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> All right, Fender. Gay rights. Gay rights. Come on, Fender. The people are depending on it. We know that you support gay rights. Now show them. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> wow. What was that? You just dodged it. 
Okay, never mind. He screams gay rights. Bender is your gay rights queen. This is giving you so much serotonin. I'm glad. I like to like, sometimes I just like to play music and like dance around my room while, which sounds so dumb, and like play great songs in my pajamas while I just like twirl the little gay rights thing and he loves it. And he just gets to play and then he gets super tired and then we cuddle and it's, it's a 10 out of 10 experience, honestly. He got wraps in it. You're funny. You're funny. <laughs> You're funny. Look, he's all wrapped in it. He's grabbing gay rights. Oh my, he literally just defeated homophobia. Wow. <laughs> Fender, it's attached to it. Fender, come back. Let me untangle that. What are you doing? Oh no, he's breaking the toy. He did this with another one. Fender. Fender. Okay. I got you. Let me help you. Let mommy help you, okay? I think... All right, now he's not wrapped by it, so now he's okay. <laughs> All right, you just want to show me? I promise this is baby powder and not <laughs> anything bad. I promise. Um, I have to put it on my hands before I play guitar because, hello, I have hyperhidrosis. Um, and it's like, you know, when you would do gymnastics as a kid, I didn't, but... Well, I did, but I was bad. But anyways... <laughs> You know where, like, you powder your hands before you go on the bar or something because your hands sweat? That's that's what I do. It's called firm grip powder, just so you know. <laughs> where did he go? Fender. Ready? Okay. Totally agree. Totally agree. He's Now he's just underneath my legs. Okay. Yes. And, okay. Cool. This is an aesthetic shot. Look, he untied my laces. Hold up. <laughs> he untied my laces. It's just special sugar. I promise it's not. <laughs> I promise. I will show you the bottle. I hope you're kidding. I do not want that rumor spread around me because <laughs> it's not true. The only medication I take is prescribed. Okay, where... Fender. Fender? I mean, he, he's just taking it. He, he just, I mean, like, go for it. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you just left it there? What do you have to tell the people? What'd you do? What'd you do? I hope this is giving you all serotonin. Someone said he looks like me. Does he look like me? <laughs> I love it when he pounces. It's super cute. See, he gets bored. He gets, he's honestly just like his mommy where he gets bored of things really quickly. Come on. No, no, you can't. You, you can't chew my phone charger. That was expand. Yep. And then he's like, oh, you say don't chew your phone charger? Well, that means I think it's a game. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Did you see that jump? He, the jumps he will do to get this squirrel. Yes, hop. Hop. I like to have him jump because I know he thinks it's fun. And also he exerts a lot of energy, which gets him tired and doesn't keep me up all night, which is fun. So, <laughs> like father, like son. He is the attention span of me. I totally agree. Oh my God, you should see how many tabs I have open on my computer all the time. It's not healthy. Wow, good boy. I'm telling you, I think he got bigger. It's been like a week. Why am I thinking that? Fender, you grow so fast. Come on. Come on. Cuckoos. Cuckoos. If you're new, I call him cuckoos because he gets really cuckoo. And it's like a phase. So he's just multiple cuckoos. All right. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> did you did you just see that? My cat is a ninja. <laughs> I just threw it to him and he literally just went and just caught it. Like, you know that scene in, in um Ah oh, shoot, what's the movie where Jaden Smith learns Kung Fu? Kung is it No, he learns karate. Uh karate kid. That's that's what he learns. Um Isn't there a scene where his mentor like catches a fly in his 
hand. I don't know. Maybe that's a memory I made up, but he just did that. Wow. Did you see that catch? Whoa. And now he's, he's like, give me the gay rights. Give me the gay rights. Give it to me. Let's see if he can do it. Do I help him? I feel bad. I want to help him. But also, like, he may... Sometimes he's very, like... He gets kind of personal. Okay, now he's saying, I want help. All right. I got you. I got you. All right, let's see. I got you. Okay, ready? There you go. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. I hope you all have a good day. <laughs> and he also wishes you a great day. <laughs>